Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's lesson. My name is Tristan, I think. Anyway, today's lesson is going to focus on some common mistakes in business letter writing and business at work vocabulary, that type of thing. So what we have here is we have a memo that has seven mistakes. Now, what I want you to do is try to find the seven mistakes. If you can't find them all, that's okay. So when I say pause your screen, well then pause your screen and try to find seven mistakes in this letter. Okay, pause your screen now. Oh, welcome back. Um, did you find seven mistakes? I know you did, person. All right, so let's look at the mistakes here. Mistake number one is when it said to all staffs. Here's the rule. Staff is non-countable. You don't put an S at the end of staff. So, correct, the company has great staff. Incorrect, the company has great staffs. Correct, we need to better train our staff. Correct, we need to better train our staff members. Incorrect, we need to better train our staffs. So, when it comes to countable and non-countable, it's always 99%, it's never 100%. But 99% of the time, staff is non-countable. And it's similar to the word stuff. Stuff is also non-countable. So that is the first mistake. Let's keep going. Mistake number two. We've talked about this before. But this person in the letter wrote, one of your colleagues. Here, it should be one of your colleagues. When you use two of, one of, three of, you need plural. For example, one of your colleagues is sick. Notice the S right there. See? Nice S. This is correct. One of your colleague is sick. Incorrect. Okay? Common mistake. Here, correct. One of my friends broke one of the chairs. My friend's a little big. Incorrect. One of my friend broke one of the chair. Two mistakes there. So, one of, two of, you need a plural noun. All right, let's keep going. Number three, they said, all employees. If you use all 99% of the time, you're going to use plural after it. Like all the people, all the children, all the chairs. Okay? Now, if you, not ruler, if you use every 99% of the time, you're going to need singular. Now, this can get into a little more detail where you could argue with me, but I'm saying 99% of the time. So, correct. Every country needs to reduce CO2 emissions. Correct. All countries need to reduce CO2 emissions. Incorrect. All countries. Incorrect. Every countries. All right. Easy to solve. Piece of cake, right? All right. Let's look at the next mistake. This is common, this is important if you're studying for TOEIC, but it's also important if you have authority at your company. It says all employee, we know that should be employees, but all employees are prohibited to bring sharp weapons. The word prohibit is what we call, not a reserve, a reverse causative verb. They are taking people away from something. Reverse causative verbs, you are trying to remove someone from doing something. These examples are prohibit, restrict, ban, stop, discourage, dissuade, forbid. Now, when we use this form, um, to be able to prohibit, to be able to restrict, you need authority. So, authority prohibits people from verb ing or uh, authority prohibits noun. Now let's look at examples. Ji Wan's parents discouraged her from opening a high-end coffee shop. So they said, don't do it. So they are taking her away. So they discouraged her from doing it. Not, they discouraged her to do it. If they said, go do it, it's a good idea. They encouraged her to do it, but they discouraged her from doing it. Another one that's correct. 
the government prohibits companies from doing business with North Korea. That is correct. The company prohibits who? Companies. From verb ing. Incorrect. The government prohibits companies to do business with North Korea. All right, that's a common mistake. Mistake five. Sword, <laughs> swords, throwing stars, and etc. This is simple. When you're writing and speaking, you don't need and before etc. Okay, you don't need and. You just put comma etc. So I've caught down on a lot of bad habits such as smoking, drug use, arson, etc. Okay, and if you're ever wondering about the pronunciation here, it's like et cetera. You might say draw, whatever, but etc. etc. All right. Then we go to number six. This is a long one, but the mistake is if you would like to sign his get well card, please notice Tomika, Tomitsa, sorry, Tomitsa in the human resources department. Why is this wrong? It's because of the word notice. People get confused between notify and notice as verbs. To notify is to provide someone with up-to-date new information, often in a company. Form, uh, someone notifies someone, that subject plus verb. For example, maybe Raina tells me the meeting is at 4.30, so Raina notified me that the meeting would start at 4.30. She didn't notice me, she notified me. She gave me the information. Or you can notify someone of noun. For example, Raina notified me of the meeting start time. But if we look at to notice as a verb, remember we're talking about a verb. Notice is to become aware of something, um, but not thinking too long. It's usually quite quick. For example, when I was walking down the street, I noticed that most of the people were staring at me. Then I noticed that I had forgotten my pants at home. So I noticed that. Maybe my manager will notify me that I need to wear pants. All right, last mistake. At the end of the uh, letter, the person said, I appreciate your comprehension. This is strange. I appreciate your comprehension. It's kind of like saying, I didn't think you were very smart and I didn't think you could, you could totally uh, understand what I was saying. But better, a common ending, if you're giving bad news or you're asking someone to change, could be, I appreciate your understanding, which means I know you don't like it, but thank you for doing it. Thank you for doing it. Okay, so let's go back to this letter and we're going to correct it right now. So to all staff, after a recent incident involving one of your colleagues in the break room, all employees are now prohibited from bringing sharp, sharp objects into the office, such as knives, swords, throwing stars, etc. No and. If an employee is seen with one of these items, they will be terminated immediately. That means they will be fired. They will lose their job. Also, Nick from the accounting department. Uh, oh, did you see this? There is another one. Is currently in the hospital. You may have seen that mistake earlier. My apologies. Is currently in the hospital with several stab wounds. A wound is like an open cut. So if someone cuts your arm, you might have a big wound. It's like an open, disgusting cut. If you would like to sign his get well card, please notify Tomitsa, not Tomika, Tomitsa in the human resources department. I appreciate your understanding. Now, this is a beautiful memo about something crazy that happened. All right, everyone. Um, so if you want to review this lesson, if you have any questions for me, you want to argue with me, any comments at the bottom, I'll look at. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.